Do you want to learn how to use the retry scope activity to retry a set of activities if a condition is not met or if exception is thrown? I'm Marcelo and on this tutorial we will learn how to use the retry scope activity. So first we'll start by creating a simple automation that will the login on this page and then we will learn how we can apply the retry scope. So Quickly, let's first use the activity use application browser. And so the link to this page will be on the description of this video. So now let's indicate the application, the page. And so now that we have indicated the page, let's use to type in the activities one to fill the username and another uh, to fill so uh, the password and so for the first one let's indicate the username field and for the second one the password field so now let's create two variables to store the username and password so first one str username and so here we can see on the page the username so let's copy and paste it on default and now here let's create another variable to store so the password so let's copy the password and now here on type pinned for username let's call the variable str username and now here on type in password, first make sure that you toggle to off the password mode. So here we now we can call a variable. And then we need to use a click to execute the login by clicking on the login button. So let's test our automation to see if it's working well. Just before here on the use application browser, make sure we disable the close by defining never. So by this way, the browser will never be closed. So let's run now our project. And so we can see that was done successfully the login. So now, Let's create here a condition that will make enable the automation to do the login and so will be thrown an exception. So now at this time, we will execute automation, but after opens the browser, we will close it. And so it will be enabled to fill the username and password and do the login. So let's run again the automation. Let's close the browser. And so we can see that it was thrown an exception because it was not found the password element. So now let's see how we can use the retry scope so it can retry again all the activities to do the login successfully. So here on activities, let's search for retry scope and let's drag it to our project. So here we can see on the retry scope activity, the action sequence and the condition block. So on the action sequence, we can execute activities that we want to be covered by the retry. And the condition, we can add a condition to determine if it's to retry again the activities inside of the action sequence or not. So to get started, let's drag our use application browser to the action sequence. So at this moment, if we execute the automation and if some exception happens inside of this sequence, the activities will be retried again. So here on the retry scope, we can see also here two properties, number of retries and retry interval. So on number of retries, we can define the max number of retries. So here, let's define, for example, three. And then on retry interval, we can define so 
the amount of time they throw between each hit tries. So in this case, let's define, for example, one second. So let's decode now our automation, but after it opens the browser, let's close it to see what will happen. So let's run our automation. And now let's close the browser. And we can see that was open again the browser and now the login was done successfully. So because it was thrown an exception because we have closed the browser and the automation was not able to fill the username and the password. So was thrown an exception and so was retried again all activities since the first one. And so the login was done successfully. So now about the condition. So for example, we can see that after the login is done, we can see that appears this message, appears secular area, and appears the logout button. So we can add here condition, uh, for example, that if this field doesn't appear, that means that the login was not successful, and so should be retried again, all activities to retry again the login. So how we can do it? First, let's use the check app state activity to check so if certain element appears or not so here let's in the case so this element and let's confirm and so make sure that it's selected wait for element to appear and so here on the properties let's declare a variable that will be a boolean variable and so if it has the value true, that means that was found this element and the login was done successfully. If it's false, that means that something happened. So this message was not found. So to declare the variable, let's do control key. And so let's create the variable bool login done. And now here on activities, let's search for the activity check true. And so uh, let's drag this activity to our condition block. And so uh, here, let's call our variable that we have declared now, boolean. So we can see that it doesn't appear because of the scope. So let's click on this activity and now on variables let's increase the scope to the level of the sequence so now we can access this variable from here so at this moment if this condition is true the actions will not be retried again but if it's false that means that something uh, happened so was not found this element and so will be retried again the activities so here uh, on the use application browser let's comment the button that will click so on the login button so here we can do control v to comment and now let's execute our automation to see what will happen so make sure you run it on normal mode And now will not be found the message and we will see that we'll retry it again the username and password as we can see was retried so we can see that was entered again so we can see that it writes again the values and so this is happening because uh, so the element is not found uh, the message the successful login message and so was retried again the activities. And so we got now here exception because so was uh, used the max number of retries and exception happened again. So now if we have a comment here and if we run automation, so let's uh, run again. Let's close the browser. And so now because was found this uh, message and here because it's true, our bull login done. So let's not retry again our activities. 
So I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, please give a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel and enable the notifications bell so you'll get notified for each tutorial that I launch on the channel.